Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about Sunderland's third summer sign that's Callum Doyle on loan from Manchester City. So yeah, so first I'm going to raise further statement and then give my opinion. Sunderland EFC are delighted to welcome Callum Doyle to the club. Signing on loan until the end of the 2021-22 season, the centre-back moved away aside from Premier League champions Manchester City. Doyle enjoyed a breakthrough 2021 2020-21 campaign with the Citizens after um, made 12 appearances for the club's under-23 side in a, a route to the Premier League 2 title. The 17-year-old also faced twice in the AFL trophy and made for further 14 appearances for the club's title winning under-18 contributing 3 goals and 3 assists in the respective development side. And England under-18 international and the uh, the towering centre-back stands at 6 foot 3 and John's, up with Leigh Johnson's first time squad ahead of the pre-season top of Scotland. After joining Sunderland, Doyle said, I'm looking forward to working with Leigh Johnson because he worked worked with young players in the past and given them opportunities. So I hope I can gain an opportunity and impre- improve me as a player and big presence at the back. I, I like to bring the ball out, um, but I also love to win a jail. I'm over to get hit to be here and very excited to get started. Lee Johnson, we're grateful to, grateful to Manchester City for believing in us as a club and to be able to help someone like can can develop. He is a very talented player, but obviously he's still still very young. So experience of him in terms of first team is that we are confident that he can make a big impress as time goes on. Six foot three and he's very good tactically and he can carry the ball out he has a lovely effort, but a cause of one and one is what we have to break through and be comfortable with that. Overall, we're delighted to welcome him in the first team squad. What's my opinion? Yes, people will see it. 17 is a very young age for like someone going out on loan. But like I've also said, like I've read the reports from Manchester City fans, I've like saw like um like stuff myself, like a cetera, et cetera, and I have not heard one bad word about him if I'm honest. Like apparently you can play out from the ball, like like play out with the ball, like step into midfield and maybe create a chance, like by passing it to someone, he's like apparently you can read the game what what is good. And to be fair, it is seeing something where a seventeen year old is in Manchester City's under twenty three team, like when they've got loads of players, let's be honest, the club like that, loads of talented players. So that's sort of rating really highly. And the fact that perhaps like a 17, 18, I think in October, will, will like help him like um with some first team expose, exposure. And I think that can like um help him like in the long run and hopefully help us this season. But the one where I do have is like kind of two. Um, that the physical aspect of it, as we all know, League One, you get kicked to shreds pretty much. You've got strikers like trying to kick you like six foot six and a half, like I mean, like into you, like backing into you, like doing all of that that rubbish. And sometimes, like on a pitch, on some rubbish pits, for no different respect, that's what you need to do to make sure like you get the points if you get one me. And as well, will at seventeen slash eighteen be too much pressure on the lad? I don't know. I'm hoping it's not, and he comes in and absolutely fries. Because if you read the statement, it looks like we're going to gradually like introduce him. But I can understand. But if he has a good pre season, I think we've got five games left starting tomorrow against him. I mean, heart. Um, why not give him go on the opening day, especially knowing that you've got Charlie White there? But yeah, yes, um. It's the pressure what I'm worried about because, like, but on the other hand, he should also look thinking this is my chance to show Manchester City I can cut it at League One level if you get what I mean, and then think, right now I can like kick on hopefully. And if he does well, he might get a low move to the Championship, but you never know if we get promoted, he might come to the Championship with us. Hopefully, that's hopefully the plan, maybe. So, yeah, um, overall, we'll see what happens. I think if he can like adjust to the physical aspect of him, because they're getting he is six foot three, what makes it a bit better knowing that he's not like a five foot like eleven like I know Willis is, but a five foot eleven centre half like a young like Ben if you get what I mean, he's seventeen. But yes, but I believe if he can like not buckle under the pressure and like um 
and physically be okay with League One, like with you getting kicked, the threads getting kicked in the back, getting kicked everywhere. I think will be. I think he'll be fine, and I do in a way like the addition if you get one thing. Like, like I'll see. I would rather a young 17, 18, 19 year old hungry young boy who wants to prove for his like team like that he's good enough for Manchester City moving forward than get a 33, 34 year old on a free transfer who like is at the end of his career pretty much and if we go up it doesn't really matter to him because he's only A for the year. So yeah, but we are still not done obviously that so I've heard from a sign after put Jordan Evans. I still like I'll still have a team we need a right back to thank up Two left backs, like one Denver Hume if he steers, um, a winger and a striker or two. But yeah, we'll see. So that's the end of the video. Of course, leave your thoughts in the comments. Do you think it's a good signing? Do you believe it's a bad sign? Do you think he's too young? So yeah, that's the end of the video. You'll see me tomorrow for my match reaction to the Hearts game. Unless we sign someone like late tonight or tomorrow, I don't know well. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. View, comment and say yeah.